All right. It is Sunday, November 29th, 2020 at 12.22 a.m. All right, guys. Let's take a look at some of these headlines. It says, North Korea executed people. Shut capital, South Korean spice agency says. Kim Jong-un has also banned fishing and salt production at sea to prevent seawater from being infected with the virus, law lawmakers were told. All right, it says here, South Korea, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has ordered at least two people executed, banned fishing at sea, and locked down the capital, Pyongyang, as part of the frantic efforts to guard against the coronavirus and its economic damage, South Korea's spy agency told lawmakers on Friday. Kim's government also ordered diplomats overseas to refrain from any acts that would provoke the United States because it is worried about President-elect Joe Biden's expected new approach toward North Korea, lawmakers told reporters after attending a private briefing by the National Intelligence Service. One of the lawmakers uh, quoted the NIS saying Kim is displaying an excessive anger and taking irrational measures over the pandemic and its economic impact. Ha said the NIS told lawmakers that North Korea executed a high-profile money char uh, changer in Pyongyang last month after holding the person responsible for a falling, ex falling exchange rate. He quoted the NIS as saying that North Korea also executed a key official in August for violating government regulations restricting goods brought from abroad. The two people weren't identified by name. North Korea has also banned fishing and salt products at sea to prevent seawater from being infected with the virus, the NIS told, told lawmakers. North Korea recently placed Pyongyang and northern Jiangang province under lockdown over coronavirus concerns. Earlier this month, it imposed lockdown measures in other areas where officials found unauthorized goods and foreign currencies that were brought in. Ha cited NIS as saying, North Korea also made an unsuccessful hacking attempt on at least one South Korean pharmaceutical company that was trying to develop a coronavirus vaccine, the NIS said. The agency has mixed records in confirming developments in North Korea, one of the world's most secretive nations. The NIS said it couldn't immediately confirm the lawmakers' accounts. North Korea has maintained that it hasn't found a single coronavirus case on its soils, a claim disputed by outside experts. Although it says it is making all out efforts to prevent the virus spread, a major outbreak could have dire consequences because uh, the North Korea's healthcare system remains crippled and suffers from a chronic lack of medical supplies. So North Korea in a little bit of trouble there when it comes to medical supplies. All right, let's go to Twitter and let's take a look at my page. All right, here it says YouTuber Jake Paul knocks out former NBA star Nate Robinson and targets Conor McGregor in a fight. Um, I have the video here on YouTube. Um, I'll leave the link of this channel. It has the full fight if you guys want to see the Jake Paul and Nate Robinson fight. All right, let's take a look at other stories here. From signed nominee, we have the moon before sunset. Let's take a look at these pictures. Look how beautiful the moon is looking out there tonight. All right. And we have also from NBC News, skeletal remains of what are believed to have been a rich man and his male slave attempting to escape the death from the eruption of Mount Vesuvius nearly 2,000 years ago have been discovered in Pompeii, officials said. That looks pretty spooky. The people are just ash and um, just, they look like stone statues almost. Can't believe they were actually human beings once. All right, also by Michael Charnick, a lightning house, an epic CG bombardment on the Colorado High Plains. Really, really thrilled to have th how this turned out. I think I have sat on this one long enough. And he has the uh, Colorado weather Twitter lightning picture. Let's take a look at this picture. Look at that. That is beautiful. By Nick by Michael Charpernick. Alright. 
Next, firefighters try to extinguish a burning car set alight during a protest in Paris against a security law. The law, if passed, will restrict sharing images of police and comes only days after the country was shaken by footage showing officers beating and abusing a black man. So a lot of angry uh, people uh, in protesting in Paris against the security law. And here's another video. It says, uh, by AFP news agency, it says, Fires, sounds of explosions as thousands in Paris protest new security law. Protests have taken place nationwide against the new law, which would restrict the broadcasting and publishing of images of police that would harm their physical or psychological integrity. And there's a lot of people just upset about this new law, burning things and rioting. Alright. And finally, from Scott Duncan, New South Wales in Australia has just recorded its hottest November ever, a 46.9 in Smithsville at 4.35 p.m. local time. Australia is in the currently at the grip of profound widespread spring heat wave. Summer starts on Tuesday next week. So 46.9 degrees Celsius is 116.42 degrees Fahrenheit. So 116, that's pretty hot. So um, Australia is just getting into their beginning of summer and it's starting to heat up. All right. Also, uh, Gio, Gio Sergio Almazan uh, posted this vo uh, video of a volcano erupting in Guatemala. Look at that. Let's see if we can make it bigger. Look at that. Let me rewind a little bit. Wow. That is just amazing. All right. So Guatemala volcanoes active. And we have 2020 is 91% complete. So we're getting closer to finishing the year. Thanks guys for stopping by and see you guys next time. God bless you guys.